first thing you need to do when you're going to operate this machine is cut it on. So right now it's green that lets you know that it's already on. Good thing about an FTIR is you can use it for um, solid samples, liquid samples, um, even gas samples if you need to. But just for these demonstrations, I'm going to use it as a liquid sample. Um, and I'll also just show you the accessory that we use when we want to use it for a solid sample. So after you cut the machine on, you come to the computer. And you want to click on the icon IR resolution. Okay, this is asking me about a preview background. Just say no. And it's just going to take a second, let the machine get warmed up. So now that our instrument is already on and warmed up and ready to go, um, the first thing we want to do is we want to take the background. Um, background simply means it's just going to take away your absorbance that's due to air, moisture's in the air. So before you run any sample, whether you want to run one and then you have another one to follow, you always run a background. So that's what I'm going to go ahead and do right now is select background and it's going to let you say, it's going to ask, can you please prepare the sample compartment for your background scan, which is already ready and prepared. You can leave your top up or top down. It really depends on what type of sample you're using. So we're going to go ahead and run a background scan and right now you can see it's scanning. If you look down here in the corner, it's scanning so far 7 out of 100. So we had it set up so that it's going to do 100 scans. 